it seemed like Terry really bounced back pretty well on Saturday. What did you see from that performance from him in particular? And how much of that was just the rest being better and how much of it was something else? I think it was a little bit of both. I had a good competition um, over those, you know, the, the seven, eight days uh, prior to the Vanderbilt game. And uh, he won the job. And uh, each day he was getting better and better. And particularly that Wednesday before the game, uh, really threw the ball well on time. Um, and, uh, you know, it came in and, and, it, and it showed in the game. Uh, I thought he was very decisive. Let's, our kids ran really good routes. Thought the tight ends were really good. And um, I, I was really proud of him to, to bounce back like that and be ready to go. Josh? Hey, I know it was just one series, but what did you see from Bo that, that you were excited about? And, and, and with him, just how much was getting him out there kind of a, an advertisement for, you know, guys kind of in the next couple of classes just to say, hey, this is, you know, this is might be more what we look like going forward. Yeah, you know, it was it was great for Bo. It was great for I mean, everybody wanted to get him in. You know, I, I want to try to get him in every week. Uh, and so we had the opportunity. What I liked about it was I liked his poise. I loved the way he went through his reads very quickly, uh, got rid of the ball. It was tough. He got the one batted down and the one he wished he would have had back where he ended up through a little bit. But, you know, for his first time out there, boy, I did. I liked his poise, and, and he knew exactly where to go with the ball. So... Uh, that was that was good for him, good for our football team. That was I was fired up for him. He was really excited. Nick, is it fair to say your your offense played more confidently against Vanderbilt? Yeah, I, I, I do believe that they were confident. Uh, you know, and we had six seven days to to really get some good reps in, and you know we went back and. Uh, I hadn't done the offense a, a very good job of, of some of the stuff that we repped during fall camp and then, you know, to really hang our hat on something. And so, you know, that's the great thing about a bye week. You can go back and you can you can look at yourself and you can you can not only scout your opponents, scout yourself especially, but you know, then what you're doing as a play caller. And uh, so, you know, we kind of went back to, you know, what we thought our quarterbacks could do well and uh, our receivers could do well. And we repped it a lot, and it showed up on Saturday. So, you know, we, we helped him because I helped him from not being a knucklehead. And uh, so that was good. What do you think the key is to kind of capturing and holding on to that and making sure you kind of keep the ball rolling with this momentum? It's, it's all about fundamentals and execution. That's what it was last week. I mean, we, we had the least amount of, of errors than we've had in a long time. And guys were sharp. Uh, and that's what offense is. Offense is about executing. You you got to have eleven guys doing the right thing all the time. And uh, what a what a opportunity we have this week. I mean, you you've got to be darn near perfect. You know, every week you do. But you're playing against the number one team in the in the country. What a great challenge. It's awesome. Uh, and they're gonna they're gonna have to be uh, darn near perfect. And and uh, that's how you can you can uh, beat a team like Alabama. You you got to be just you got to be perfect. At least strive for it. John Clay. Eddie, I don't know how much you want to talk about this, but last week had to be a rough week for you. What, what was it? I know so close to John and everything else was going on. What was last week like for you? Uh, a little bit, uh, I mean, you can say tough, just surreal. You know, you try not to get, you, you try not to. Um, I don't want to say tough. I don't want to. It, nobody feeling sor sorry. Nobody in that because you know what? I, I I try to think about John Schlarman and and what he endured for those two years and plus. Um, so when I even think about becoming negative, when I even think about thinking that I'm going to feel sorry for myself, I just think about him. So, yeah, it was tough. But you know what? It it life's tough. Um, and you know we had all hands on deck. Everybody everybody jumped in, and. Um, you know, to say that to, to not have him and not have him next to, to to my side, and you know, I can't explain that to you. Uh, but uh, you know, it was all hands on deck, and we got through it. If I could follow up briefly on that, what what about the offensive line going forward? I know you've been involved with it. 
anticipate to have a team effort? Will it continue to be like that going forward? It will. We've got somebody in here now. You know, we've had something that's been in the works for three, almost four weeks. And, uh, you know, we just, we've got somebody in here that's going to be able to help us and, um, and, and, and that'll be good. It'll take a, a lot of load off of, off, off of my plate and, uh, it'll be good for the O line. And, uh, so, so that's something that we've had in the works for a long time and, uh, it finally got uh, done. And so we have somebody here now. John Hale. Austin having to take on a little larger load, load than you're used to. Ah, so proud of him. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was different. You know, just the whole thing, play calling and and the emotions, uh, and to see those guys and and it really comes down to this. They just never flinched. They never flinched, and and, and by gosh, they weren't going to let uh, the big tuna down. You know, and at the end of the day, that's what it was. You know, they they were playing for a much bigger reason than the game of football. Yeah, I think it really helped us. I think those two played uh, one of the best games that they've played all year. You know, and for them, <clears throat> it's run game and pass game. And, uh, you know, we had some things that were open for them, and, and they ran really good routes, and Terry put the ball on them. And so, you know, I know sometimes you all think that we don't use the tight ends, but, you know, at, the, at, at times they've got to get open. They've got to do their job. Our quarterback's got to find them. And things that we've done to simplify some things, uh, has really helped us. The reps have really helped us, and want to continue to get the ball to the big guys. You know, there's mismatches, and uh, so we'll continue to do that for sure, Lonnie. Gary Gray. As good as it was for the offensive line in that game, I mean, it, it, obviously you know, Alabama is a, is a whole different challenge. What, what's the thing that you've seen on film that you feel like you're they have to be even better at as opposed to say? Well, you know, the biggest thing is, is always, it, it sounds like a cliche, cliche, but, you know, movement, anytime guys move and they don't, they're not going to just sit there. Uh, and these guys are really athletic. We're getting ready to play. So, you know, continuing to work on the movement and, and finishing, you know, twist pickups uh, and, and finishing in the pass protection, not opening your hips and, you know, all the, all the things that it's every, every single day stuff for all linemen because it's all about technique. And um, so, you know, with this group, we're getting ready to play. You know, they're they're uh, as good as anybody that will play this year. We're gonna have to be technique sound. A couple more, Jeff Drummond. Yeah, Eddie. Uh, Gary kind of asked what I was gonna ask you about Alabama, but I, I guess as a follow up to that, when you put on their film, does anybody really jump out at you in, in particular? They don't seem to be getting as much attention on that side of the ball as maybe their offense is before they have their yeah. numbers. I'm yeah. sure they still have some of those stars over there. They, they, they do. I mean, their, their front seven, are, is, is their stout, their linebacking crew is as is, is good as we've seen this year. And they're, you know, they're two corners. Uh, I mean, they're the real deal. Um, this is a heck of a football team. Uh, and defensively, for them not to get the credit, you know, when you turn on the film, you know, I see something different. Coach Saban, his staff, they've they do a great job every year. You know, they know what to do, and they present a lot of issues. Uh, they they have a lot of stuff in their arsenal, and and we're gonna have to be really sharp. You've been such a big underdog. It seems like nobody gives you a chance to, to win. Hopefully you don't feel that way. What is your message to the team going in as, as such big underdogs? Well, the key for us is going to be first down. You know, I talked to him about it today. It's first down efficiency. Uh, you got to stay out of third and long. You know, their exotic stuff that they bring, uh, the, the, the stuff that you see on third down, you know, you, you can they bring stuff from all over the place. So, uh 
that's that's critical, and uh, staying out of that third and long. And then the last thing is uh, execution and, and and technique against a great defense. Um, and you have to have an attitude. You got to have a, a, a tenacity about you that uh, is second to none, and that will be the message. You can go out there, play, play, play fat. We've got. I mean, my my message is we're going to go out and we got to win the game. You know, we talked about touchdowns in the red zone. You can't have because they're so explosive on offense. We can't settle for three points, and and we've got to get it in there, and we've got to make sure we score seven and not three. He's he's ready to go. And uh, again, I, I told him after the game, uh, I, I was in a little bit of a little bit of a. I'm not gonna say disarray, but I didn't do a very good job. I'm usually pretty good at rep counts, you know. And uh, I didn't I didn't I I needed to get him in there more. He's full speed. He's ready to go. I'm really excited about him this week because uh, you look at his explosive runs <clears throat> prior to him getting hurt. Uh, was was really good. So he'll be full goal this week, and uh, you'll see him with, with a lot more reps. All right, guys, we've got Justin Reed here. We'll get him on in just a second. Hey, thank you all.